Serving as royal fool under four Targaryen monarchs, the dwarf mushroom was described with a large head upon a body only three feet tall, considered dim-witted by most courtiers, which meant they spoke openly before him, unaware he was actively listening to their secrets. Often seen as perverted, crass, and debauched, Mushroom was also deceptively intelligent and observant, famed for silly antics which disguised a sharp tongue and cunning wit. Serving under King Viserys I, Queen Rhaenyra, King Aegon II, and King Aegon III, Mushroom was a highly placed witness to the Dance of the Dragon Civil War which nearly destroyed House Targaryen and wiped out the dragon population of Westeros. At some point, someone recognized the value of his experiences and recorded this period of his life in The Testimony of Mushroom, a controversial book teeming with many lewd, vulgar passages, so outrageous most copies were burned during the reign of Baylor the Blessed. Yet some few survived and were later used as one of three primary sources for that period by Archmaester Gildane when he wrote Fire and Blood, being a history of the Targaryen kings of Westeros. Gildane's work was also featured in Maester Yandel's respected text, The World of Ice and Fire. Even so, while Maesters understood the value of his testimony, they also questioned the validity of his many outlandish and overwhelmingly unlikely stories, considered the least accurate of the sources. Yet at other times, his words seemed far more reasonable and corresponded with other accounts, granting a unique insight into the events of the time. Among the more fascinating claims made by the testimony of Mushroom, he stated the great feud between Otto Hightower and Daemon Targaryen began because the rogue prince deflowered the Hand's daughter, Alicent Hightower. Mushroom also claimed he personally assisted Sir Daemon in teaching the heir to the throne, Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, the ways of love, with her uncle even taking her to the Street of Silk dressed as a page boy where she could witness the womanly arts of prostitutes in brothels. Throughout all this, however, Rhaenyra remained a virgin as she was in love with her Kingsguard, Sir Criston Cole. After Rhaenyra's relationship with Sir Criston ended, Mushroom claimed to have caught her in bed with Sir Harwin Strong. Amidst the rising tensions between Princess Rhaenyra's Black Faction and Queen Alicent's Greens, the King's daughter left the capital accompanied by her household, which now included Mushroom, who followed her to Dragonstone. Though Mushroom served King Viserys for many years, he delighted in making Rhaenyra laugh, entertaining her since she was a baby. She, in turn, grew very fond of the royal fool, keeping him by her side even during the worst of times when depressed from great loss or paranoid about the loyalty of everyone else. This bond meant Mushroom's testimony, despite the crass facade, was ultimately biased towards his beloved queen. While serving on Dragonstone, Mushroom claimed to personally carry Rhaenyra's miscarried child to cremation and later witnessed the duel of the Cargyle twins after the outbreak of war, stating the fight lasted mere moments with the brothers yelling traitor before they each struck a mortal blow. According to Mushroom, it was his idea to recruit new dragon riders from possible descendants of illegitimate Targaryen children and during the event attempted to claim Silverwing as his own, only for his pantaloons to catch on fire, forcing him into a well where he nearly drowned. Nearing the end of Rhaenyra's reign, when Mushroom watched the storming of the Dragon Pit from the roof of Maker's Holdfast, he spoke aloud his skepticism after the Queen suggested the small folk could not kill their dragons, creating one of the rare moments where she lost patience and ordered his silence. As a result, when the Queen's son Joffrey quietly left them, Mushroom said nothing, which unfortunately allowed the boy to mount his mother's dragon Syrax and fly it into a battle where he died. Left in emotional ruin, Rhaenyra fled the capital with what she believed was her last living child, Aegon, though in truth, another of her sons, Viserys, still lived in captivity overseas. As a result of this sudden flight, Mushroom was left behind in the capital, where he witnessed the Moon of Three Kings, when rogue claimants took power in King's Landing for a month. Yet this all ended when Aegon II captured and killed Queen Rhaenyra on Dragonstone, which then allowed him to lead an army to take the capital and sit the throne as king. Now serving as fool to Aegon II, Mushroom claimed the king often ordered a male and female favorite to be intimate before him, even tasking Mushroom to perform on three separate occasions. As Aegon's reign came to a bloody close, with supporters of the deceased Queen Rhaenyra descending upon the capital, Mushroom hid in a barrel of flour to survive, and after the death of the king, was called upon as a witness to the events of these final days. Continuing on as royal fool, Mushroom now served the new king, Aegon III, son of his beloved Rhaenyra, yet the boy was sullen and morose, with none of his mother's love for laughter or the fool's silly antics. Unappreciated in the royal court, Mushroom claimed that at some point he received an offer to serve the Sea Lord of Bravos, but ultimately declined. 
during an event where the king was set to choose a queen, which Mushroom called the Maiden's Day Cattle Show. He was threatened and bribed to speak ill of all the girls, so Aegon would choose Lord Unwin Peak's daughter, a scheme which ultimately failed, as Aegon chose Daenerys Valerion, a beautiful young girl who had much more appreciation for Mushroom's performances. Witnessing an assassination attempt during one of their dinners, Aegon's friend and food taster, Gaiman Palehair, got sick. But by the time Mushroom returned with a maester, the boy was collapsed and soon dead from poisoning. During the secret siege, when the still underage King Aegon III rebelled against his regents, Mushroom remained with the king and his family in Maegar's Holdfast, even helping them realize the enemy was playing tricks with false witnesses, ultimately contributing to their eventual victory. When Aegon finally turned 16 and dismissed his regents, including Lord Torrin Manderly, a man fiercely loyal to his mother during the war, Mushroom was offered a place by his side, having grown fond of the fool during the many years he served in the capital. Mushroom, in turn, also enjoyed the Lord's company and gladly accepted the offer to escape the joyless prison of Aegon's court. Remaining in the northern city of White Harbor for many years, Mushroom's great talents eventually allowed him to travel the world, serving in the Sea Lord's Palace in Bravos, as well as the Port of Ibn on the Isle of Ib, and even earned a place with a troop of traveling mummers, sailing aboard a ship they called the Lisping Lady. From this point forward, Mushroom disappeared from the histories, yet the tales of this legendary royal fool lived on for many years, remembered not only for his gifts as an entertainer, but also as a vital witness and academic source for one of the most bloody periods in Targaryen history.